by World News. Some tense moments in that Texas town, the scene of that mass shooting. Late today, authorities got yet another call of shots fired in a neighboring community. Authorities responding, and our Matt Gutman made it to the scene. It comes just as the vice president arrives in Sutherland Springs. And just as we also get the full list of victims now, many of their images now emerging. ABC's Matt Gutman from Texas again tonight. Tonight, that scare in Texas. Reports of shots fired near the site of Sunday's massacre. Dozens of police units racing through red traffic lights, sirens blaring, lights flashing to a nursing home just a mile and a half away from where Vice President Mike Pence is set to pray over the tragedy. Nerves still raw here as we learn that the camera that regularly filmed the Little Chapel Sunday services was rolling last Sunday, too. Law enforcement officials describing a joyous service turning into a bloodbath. For seven minutes, the gunman methodically walked into every single pew to execute his victims, echoing what survivor Rosa Solis told us. My sister, you could hear a pin drop in there. Quiet, real quiet. So the only sound was the sound of the yeah. bullets. Yeah. Officials say about 400 bullets were fired, eight children and an unborn baby also executed, including Charlene Yule's 16 year old daughter, Haley. They still haven't let me see my daughter, so to me it's not fully real yet because I still haven't seen her. Is it important for you to see her? Part of me hopes that they're wrong and it's not her. And maybe she's just in the hospital. But I want my daughter back. I want to see her walk through the door. Tonight, as mourners place flowers at makeshift memorials, the names of all 26 victims released. They include the eight members of the Holcomb family plus an unborn child. The Holcombs called neighbor Mary Dykeman Nana. They were wonderful people. And, uh, you couldn't help but love them. <laughs> so much heartbreak in that town. And Matt Gutman with us live. Those uh, reports late today were very concerning. It shows how on edge that town is. But you are getting the all clear for anyone watching tonight. That's right. Nothing happened here. It was a false alarm, David. Somebody called 911 saying that there were shots fired in that nursing home behind me. And now the healing here is starting to begin. That congregation so decimated in that massacre. We understand that they will hold church services here in Floresville on Sunday. Obviously missing the majority of their members. David. Matt Gutman with us.